How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be unboxing another Chinese set, as I said in the previous video. This one in particular is called Battle Elite. I'm not gonna try to pronounce the Chinese name of this set because I'd butcher it. Uh, just know that this set is really really special. Let me cut it open while I talk about it. Because this set for one um, contains a very very interesting card which is the Elysia. So that's a, well, that could be a chance to pull, which we're probably not going to, but it could be a, a possible pull, which would be very, very nice. It also is, I've read about it on the, on the wiki for this set. Um, I think it's said it contains two quote unquote flash cards. So maybe that means these sets contain two super rares or something. Only one way to find out. This is the booster pack for that Chinese set. It did release in December 16 or December 16th, 2022. So it is a bit older, but without further ado, let's get into it. We have 30 booster packs with six cards each. So very, very close to what you would usually get in a in a Japanese booster box. Here we have a reverse right off the rare, and we have our prism card. Because these cards are from the Sun and Moon era, well, China's version of the Sun and Moon era. We do have these awesome, awesome Prism cards, which I'm very, very um, intrigued about. I've been wanting to get most of those for a collection, maybe, but I've got other priorities. Mainly my alternate arts, and then now that I'm done with my alternate art collection, I'll either move towards the, the EX collection or something else. Um, looks like every single card comes with a reverse, and what I also like about these cards, since I haven't opened a set similar to this, like a Japanese or English one, since the cards are kind of old, I haven't seen this Upsoul artwork before, this illustration. That is a very, very cool illustration, I'm kind of surprised, man, that looks super nice. Alright, let's keep it moving, keep it going, keep it moving. So we do have a lot of packs to go through. 30 in total. I feel like I've seen that card before. But I might be wrong. Every single one. Yo, a Solgaleo GX. Not too shabby. I think I've said it in my Alter Genesis opening as well. Um, it's so nice for a change to see these GX cards. Because we don't see them anymore. We've already moved past V cards. We're now at the at the EX cards again, which is nice, by the way. But seeing these GX cards makes me kind of nostalgic, even though I didn't collect at the time. It's still super, super cool. To see, just a holographic, see, this is another one. The Giratina, man. And this is also kind of why I really, really like opening these Chinese sets. Because, first of all, they are rather cheap, well, compared to the... Japanese or English equivalent, um, but it does give me the opportunity to look at all these awesome cards, not just the the holographics and everything or the double rares, no, also the commons and uncommons like this Diglett right here. Gives me an opportunity to, to witness the artworks because obviously I would have never have seen them before. We got a double rare Zera Aura GX right here. Very, very nice. That's also another one. I feel like I've seen that one before, though. I feel like I've seen that one before. I might be... I might be mixing it up with another card, but I feel like I've seen it. Anyways... Any hoosers. Let's see, that that Pachi... Oh, no, that Emolga. I was gonna say Pachi No, that's, that's an Emolga. Yo, that looks also super, super cool. Super, super cool. We've got a rare. Just a rare Faulkner. I do actually have the Faulkner um, full art in in English in my in my main binder. My main binder. I I will show it off at some point. It's just still not at the point where I think it's ready. In my opinion, it's still missing a few key cards before I could comfortably show it off. But there is the Licia, man. If only we could pull the Lysia. I'm actually gonna put this aside. Just for maybe the good luck. Maybe Lysia will bless us in this booster box. So yeah. Other than that, I think the Lysia, well, as I've said, the Lysia is the card you do wanna pull. There are a few other ones, like a Lugia GX or 
Uh, most notably, the Golden Solgaleo GX. Here we have a Lunala, I do believe. This looks kind of like a special version of Lunala. Um, must be from Ultra Sun and Moon, games which I have not played. So I don't know the exact form of that one. Also, um, these full art trainers, I know there's a set of four of them. Unfortunately, I don't know their English names. Um, but those ones are also full arts in this one. So either way, either way, um, this one, as for the change for uh, last week's video, um, for this box, as I've said in the beginning, we all promised at least one, according to the website or to the wiki, two SRs, but I think at least one, um, that's for sure. That's set in stone unless the box was tampered with, which I don't really think it was. I bought these again off Taobao through Sugar Goo. So, and I did use um, reputable sellers, you know, people with, or sellers with really, really good reviews. So, I did make sure to use those. And we have another one. <laughs> just a holographic, cool looking Sogaleo though. But just a holographic nonetheless. We'll see when, when the first super rare will show its face. Maybe in this pack right here. If I can rip it open very violently. Put the pack aside, and then we do this. I think I kind of spoiled the pull there. Um, it shouldn't be too bad, since it's just a double rare. It's a cool-looking Kingdra. Unfortunately, it may, it's made by 5-band graphics, which I have a burning hate for. Not, it's not a burning hate, I just don't really like their illustration, or most of them. I like some of them, just not most of them, because they just seem generic to me. Let's try to open this one up. And put this aside, flip it over, and see what we can have. Come on. Nope, just a rare. We've gotten that one as a reverse, I feel like, before. Um, I do like the reverse rares in this. They look very, very, very cool. And after this, just to, to speak about like future videos, I do have more Chinese sets. I have one more booster box, and then I have two more tins that I do want to open on the channel. So, for the near future of videos, it's gonna be solely Chinese. Um, I'll try to cram in um, one um, cheap card video, I just don't know when. But we will do that for sure, no worries about that one, that is coming. That is coming for sure, so I've just put aside, I've just realized, I've put aside another Lysia. We need all the Lysias on our table to summon her, so that we can pull her in this opening. That'd be something. That would be something. Nope, just another double rare. Just another double rare. I feel like we're getting toward... I was gonna say we're running towards the end in terms of pulls, but we still have plenty of packs left in this booster box. Man, oh man. Still so many booster packs left. Let's see, maybe it's hiding in here? Nope, just a Mimikyu, really cool looking Mimikyu. But just a Mimikyu nonetheless. I think I just remembered the name of one of these, um, these trainers right here. Alright, let's take the last remaining booster packs out and clear this booster box off the table. So we do have a bit more space to work with. And then let's just rip these open. And see if we can't pull anything really, really good. We've got this. Oh, there's our super rare. A Lugia GX. Yo, that looks really, really cool. Not gonna lie. That looks super cool. Okay, here are the other cards. Lelicia, maybe we do get two SRs. I don't know for sure. But here is our first one. Unfortunately, it does seem to have one print line, maybe two. Um, but this one looks super, super cool. Look at the texture in the background. No way the English version looks nearly as good as this one. Yo. Okay, that does look pretty cool. It's very, very shiny too. It actually looks silver in terms of looking at the cart and like the reflection and everything. That is really, really nice. Let's put you over here. And then we still got a bunch of booster packs left. Let's see. Let's test the theory, if the, the wiki is correct, that this set contains two super rares instead of just one. It did say two flash cards, whatever that means. Maybe they just mean one, one prism card? 
and then one super rare. Maybe that's what they're referring to. I'm not quite sure. But either way, either way, that is a very, very cool pull. We've got a Grimer. We've got another Emolga. Very cute, very cute. And there is the Giratina. Like, okay, so we are now repeating ourselves with these cards. So I think I'll go through these booster packs a bit faster now, since I've, I'm pretty sure we've seen most of the of the comments now. So let me go through these. Well, here's another here's another prism card. So that doesn't confirm the theory. We've got a playset of Lysias. Unfortunately, not the Lysia full art. Unfortunately, not the Lysia full art. That was actually a card that I was thinking about buying off um, of card hobby. You know, the Chinese eBay site, but didn't pull the trigger on it. Here we have another... Oh, this must be fused with Necrozma or something. I kind of recognize that shape. So this is a Sogaleo fused with, ne with Necrozma. And then the, the Lunala must be in a similar fashion as that one. Okay. We are running out of space for the poles, though. Lots and lots of poles in this one. Let's see if we can't get... We have a reverse. A reverse Lysia. So that's something. Five Lysia cards, but not the full art. Well, yet. Maybe we can get the full art in one of these. Maybe we can. Let me just go a bit quicker. I feel like we haven't seen this one before. It looks really, really cool with the mountain in the background. But nope. <laughs> well... At this point, you know, at this point, you might as well just give me the full art, right? I really don't think the, the wiki is correct, though, in my opinion. I think, I think this set only contains one super rare. You know, oh, here we go. The normal Lugia GX. That also looks really, really cool. Nice. Okay, let's put you over here. And then there are the other two cards. I feel like it's going to be very, very similar to Japanese booster boxes, where you only get one super rare. And then that's it. Don't know why the wiki mentions then two flash cards in, in one box. But hey, maybe it's different in Chinese booster boxes. You know, this is actually the first proper booster box that I'm opening off Chinese sets. Everything previously were just like normal packs. Or in the case of um, Nine Colors Gathering, it was two blister booster boxes, which don't have promised super rare spots. So maybe that's um, maybe that's special. We are getting towards the end here. I, I'd imagine, though, if there is no second super rare, I, I'd imagine there is no other um, GX pull in this one. But we'll see. I'd be well. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. We have the cover Pokemon of this one. The name that I unfortunately do not know. I'm very, very ill prepared for this one, but there we go. We did pull the cover Pokemon, at least, of this set. So that's something. Let's see. This one was really, really easy to rip open. That means there's something special inside of this one, right? Nope. Just a holographic. Just a holographic. Okay, we have three packs left of this, of this set. Let's see if we can pull the second super rare or if the wikia was maybe referring to something else. I don't know what it would refer to if it says two flashcards. I generally think the slang in China for a full art is a flashcard, maybe? I feel like I've heard that before. You know, full arts are referred to... No, full arts are referred to... What are they referred to? I've forgotten the exact slang they use. You have no idea. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Is there a super rare? Nope. We have a double pull. Okay, that's interesting. That's something that usually doesn't happen with with Japanese booster boxes. You usually don't pull the same card twice, at least for these double rares. Um, one last pack. Maybe we can get some last pack magic up in this. Maybe we can get some last pack magic. I'd be very, very delighted to get some last pack magic. Um, let me actually do the card trick. So, technically, it should be like this, right? So, here we are. We have Faulkner. We have a Grimer. We have a Ductrio. 
We have our reverse, the shrine looking thing. And we have a holographic Mimikyu. Okay, so it was only one super rare. I kind of figured it would be. I kind of figured it would be. Um, we did pull this Lugia GX. I did want to pull the Lysia, of course, as I've said, but this is still really, really cool. I'm pretty sure this might be super expensive in, in Japanese. Um, don't quote me on that. I'll actually put the price for the Japanese version up right here. So you can see if I'm right or wrong. Um, well, it all depends on how you look at it. Um, but anyways, I guess that does it for this opening. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix it for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button. Click this one first, then click this one. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace. Take care.